Sometimes when you're out shopping for car parts or bits and supplies and stuff like that, you always end up with something that you didn't really anticipate buying, but too good to turn up, you know, pass by. And one of the things was this, because you see, I've got this panel, well, I, I painted it last night. Where is it now? See, you. I've got this panel to paint. Well, I've already done it, but I just wanted to show you that I was at Canadian Tire and they had one of those cheap spray gun kits. You know, you've seen them all, Harbour Freight or I don't know what tool shops you have in the UK now. But uh, <clears throat> it's pretty bloody good. I mean, for the price. And it was this little set down here. Now, uh, you know, like I say, usually in sets they pad them up with stuff that you don't really need. But you got two spray guns. These are high volume, low pressure guns. Yes, they're not professionals, but for one off little jobs like me, perfect. So you've got regulators with gauges. You've got two of them. Filters, a key, some filters for straining your paint. And all, most importantly, <coughs> all the cleaning brushes. <coughs> with an adapter for your airline. Just about everything you need, including some tape, Teflon tape, to put on the connectors. Was $1.99 down to $99 for all that. Now, what I'm leading to is this. The results were quite good. If you get the right mix of paint, the thing is, what they ask for on the on the urethane paint that I painted this with last night was a ratio of four parts paint, one part hardener, one part thinner. It's too thin, you know, it blows all over the shop and it's all over the place. It really for for one and a in the tiniest drop of uh, thinner. And like I said, the results were quite good. I'll take the camera off and I'll show you. How oh, I hate painting in my shop in winter, and in fact I hate painting, I'll only do little bits now, I won't do everything. But I haven't polished this at all, it's just there's a little tiny bit of few flecks of dust in it, but not too bad. And I mean it's on the back of the truck, nobody's going to see it. Uh, I've already put one window in and what I'm going to do in the rest of this video is to show you, using our WD-40, how to put the windows in. Really, really easy. Um, so I'm going to build this up today and then once this deck's cleared we're going to do the roof but like I say uh, obviously I've got sort of bits of WD-40 on there but the, the actual finish is really really good for a cheap set so it's setting up your, you're getting your paint mix right in the first place that's really important so hopefully we can get the roof on this truck in next to no time and uh, keep keep out the weather I don't know if I'm ever going to get it finished this year but anyway we'll see but like I said <clears throat> you can make good results but remember you want a dust mask on you want a really good um, uh, respirator mask because this stuff's nasty and you need good ventilation so what I did was in here I just got the place warmed up and then opened the garage doors and painted yeah there's you know and it's minus four outside so not very pleasant so it dried off overnight and it dried off quite nice so let's show you how to put this window in I'm going to be using the old rubbers on this I don't really care all that much because it's my truck it's not come cool but this was painted yellow before didn't like yellow so we power washed all the paint off and prepped it up with the 320 and give it a paint but also don't forget to prep your glass now this had uh, a film on it, you know, like that, that uh, tinted glass, which is bloody awful. <laughs> it was black, you couldn't see anything. Cleaning glass, I think this is what you call triple zero uh, uh, wire wool. And just go mostly on the edges. Now, wire wool for some reason doesn't scratch glass before I drop the bloody thing. But if you use a scotch plate, like, um, like, um, just hold on. I'll, I'll edit this bit out. A Scotch-Brite like this, you've seen them for prepping paint, that will scratch glass. Stay away from them. Go around the edges. Why did you do just the edges, Mike? Well, these are the bits 
that get all dirty and you can do the outside once it's up in the vehicle if you see what I mean. So just as long as the outsides are nice and clean like that look you don't have to worry too much about this and even if you do it's a you just don't want to you want to minimize dropping the damn thing you know what I mean because <laughs> these glasses are not cheap but you can do a nice job and uh, clean them up so now we're going to fit them as I mentioned I'm using the old rubbers and they're not perfect they're starting to crack a little bit at the bottom but to, to be honest like look you see down there look I'm not bothered I haven't got any and these are okay why I'm not bothered is that the rubber's still flexible I mean if it was all cut and nasty well that would be a different thing so I've blown out the gaps here here and here with the air gun make sure there's no dirt and debris in there but where it is cracked a little bit if it does become a problem this bit here I simply just put a little bit of urethane over it black urethane and see if it'll well there we go so how we're going to do this well the reason why I'm using this is it's pre molded <laughs> it's already molded well it comes in a strip but because it's already got the existing shape we're just going to sort of plonk it on now the um, this is the bottom and this is the top and the bottom's always wider than the top so we've already got when we've got our molding our rubber we can see that the joint is going to go in the middle here so let's put our joint in We simply just slip it over back into place. Quite easy. These surfaces, it slips out. I know these are cheap, but I really wanted to get this done, and I can always do it later if they do leak. I don't think they'll leak. Now, you will find, if we slide across here, there is an overlap. Oh dear, what do we do? Well, we simply get the two pieces, we put them together, like that, and then we try and force those lips on, like that look, like that. So you can see, if you were to cut this rubber and just sort of butt it, it would eventually be loose because by pushing those two pieces together, we saw we had a pucker here, well that's now pushed all, all the way around so it's nice and tight, see? So that's got to be good, that's, that's what we want. So what I'm saying is, when you're putting these windows in, don't, just don't cut it short, because when the action of you pushing the, the filler strip in will push this around, so the next thing, and then you'll end up with a gap. Fit our glass. The tools we're going to be using you can actually buy commercially but this one as you can see was an old screwdriver and um, that's the shape. It's got sort of a dog leg in it. And the reason for that is so that you can get your fingers underneath because if it was flat you'd be rubbing against the rubber. Um, it started off as a ring and I just sort of bent it and nipped it and that was it and then just sort of welded it onto a screwdriver. And you could do exactly the same with this little hooky thing. This is a, a special shape, but there's nothing to stop you actually making that. It's really easy. But it looks, it looks odd, so take a good look at it. Because you honestly you could knock these things up in next to no time. This is the original tool. I can't remember what it's called now. It's a, oh, it doesn't say, it's just a part number. But this was the original, and you, you could by undoing the grub screw here, change the bits and put this bit in, if you see what I mean. But I've lost them now over the years. So, what we're going to do is get our glass and just lay it in at the bottom. Right. Now it is a bit of a sh miss about. But, lay it in at the bottom corner first. Alright, don't worry about this now, don't worry about that. 
Now a lot of people have got me for using WD-40 on rubber. Hey Mike, it's, uh, it's petrol based. Obviously I don't care. What I want is no friction. So with that pushed into the corner, where am I going to start here? I'm going to get that tool under that rubber, pull the rubber up and round like that look. And you can see how easy it is, how it glides in. And at the same time, you're always pushing down like that. Now this is where we get to a bit sort of a problematic because we've come to the, the joint. So let's have a look around in this bottom corner. So with your thumbs pushing in, get under the rubber, pull it in, and try and push down at the same time. It is tricky, you might have to do this about two or three times. Right. Try not to scratch your pain. <laughs> Sometimes I might have to sort of start at the top corner, get underneath, pull that rubber up and around, like that. Let's have another go with that. So we've got that corner in, again pushing, pushing all the time, get your hook in now. Work it round. Come on. So it gets dry. See that? Boom! <laughs> if we were one of these American shows, we'd have sort of dramatic music and stuff like that. You know, they'd be, <laughs> they'd be having all the lots of dramas. So that's the window in. Now, I've reshot this piece again because I realised that when I dropped the camera down, I inadvertently switched it off. So if it looks a bit odd, because I've now got the uh, back window in. Well, I did it later. So, uh, but I wanted to show you about putting the filler strip in. We've already got the glass in, so we don't have to worry about that. But one thing I wanted to show you, because I did that last week, but you remember when we did it with the WD-40? Well, you see, there's not a drop of WD-40 on there yet now. It's all gone, it's all evaporated. That's why it's no good as a lubricant. So I'm gonna pull out the old seal, because you can see this one here, was just too short. There's a big gap. I've got a new seal. They're only cheap. They're not too expensive. Uh, that's the sort of profile and it locks into this channel here. So as you can see there's not a drop of oil in there. Nothing. Nothing at all. So don't be, don't be afraid. I can tell you're rubbish in here. Right so what we're going to do is going to fit this seal. But the most important thing is we're going to start it off, now there's the joint up here, so we're going to start it opposite here, so we're going to start and finish here, alright, that's kind of, kind of uh, important, we don't want the two joints open so there's any water gets in, <laughs> it's a joke isn't it, because you know it's going to get water in it, but anyway. So what we're going to do first of all, now if I do turn you back to my camera, I'm sorry I can't, I can't see at the same time, I'll try and move this around a little bit, but we're going to use that uh, tool here, we're going to open up the seal, right, and this is kind of tricky to start with, right, because it'll all will become clear. Now, what we're going to do is put about an inch in first, dry, go in dry, put an inch in and uh, you should be alright. But now, we're going to use, you can see how difficult it was to put in, 
Now we're going to put our WD-40 in and you put your finger on the top and push this round. And look at that. Look how easy that is. Can you see? Use your finger to push it down and wiggle this side to side. It's almost like you pawn, isn't it? And then keep coming up and keep going. Don't stop till you get enough. More uh, WD-40 on. Watch how fast this will go here. Oh, look at that. It's like turbocharged. Take your afternoon to do that normally. Now this is a bit of a tricky one because now I've got to change position and go to the other side. So I'm going to have a little bit of a jumpette here. Well, I'm going to have to force it back in because I can't keep position on that. But you'll, you'll see. I have to go around the other side of the table and work on this way. All the time forcing that rubber down, that filler, down into that strip. There we go. That there, I'll show you. Well, all you do is just push it back in. Come back down here. Oops. Oh, not the camera over. <laughs> Are you alright? Did you fall over? <laughs> well, keep that bit in, because I do sometimes things do go wrong. Right, so, <coughs> right, pardon that. So again, we pick up where we left off. Keep pushing your thumb down. Maybe I'll push it down the other way. Here, yeah, you've already folded over the You can't fold over anymore. Ooh, damn thing. Ooh. I've got hoses all over the floor, that's why you can't see much. Right, can you see that? So we're coming to the end now. Again, just use your finger, push it in. Boom, you've come to the end. Now, Getting to the end is quite interesting. Now you can see little bits here. This is going all wrong, isn't it? <laughs> you can perhaps see here where the seal hasn't gone quite in. Just get your, just get your picky tool like that, push it in. Same with this one, I don't know if you can see this one. Just push that seal in, like that. Oh, there's a bit here, look, I've missed. Use your edge, push it in. Push it in. Bingo. Now, the important thing about this, this joint here is we've got to make it just that little bit longer. Uh, I wonder if I could use a pair of pliers, side cutters. I'll get a sharp pair. There we go. So we're going to make this just a little bit longer. Damn, I'm looking into that light, I can't see a thing. Right, so it's a, a little bit longer. Bring it about like that, snip it, and push it backwards. Now oh, I might have got it a bit too long. Push it in. Now oh, I need that too long. So it's gone in there. I might have cut it a bit too long. A bit too enthusiastic. Maybe not. And then just finish it off. Oh, and you've got it at the top. Oops. There we go. There we go. That's why you don't use sharp knives and tools. This is rounded at the end, so it, it slipped off, but it's it's good. Yeah, that's a nice job. 
It's not too difficult to do, but like I say, your WD-40 will have gone off by next to no time. And by making it longer, making that joint longer, it'll push back and even if you get to later on in the year when it dries out or whatever, it won't dry out to a gap if you see what I mean. That's it. Right, next bit.